Good evening and welcome to this edition of the Vision View video blog. I am Richard Urban and I'm your host. We're here on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. I'd like to start with a reading from the teachings of Reverend Sum Young Moon. If you are in complete accord with truth and justice, then Heavenly Fortune will protect you completely. Heavenly Fortune will strike any power that opposes you. Hence, if I truly become an object partner to God and dwell in a place of complete harmony with Him, then even a country such as America or even the Soviet Union will be struck down if it opposes me. It is because I understand this principle that I can be so bold. That's from 1991. It's found in World Scripture 2, page 1071. Well, tonight's topic is Hak Jahan, the New Eve. And I'd like to point you to a video presentation where a true mother is speaking from October 27, 2014. And <laughs> 독생자가 독생녀를 교육했다고는 말할 수 없어. 무슨 말인지 알아들어요? 그랬기 때문에 내가 결정한 거야. Is, nobody educated me. God's only begotten son and God's only begotten daughter are equal. You cannot say that God's only begotten son educated God's only begotten daughter. Do you understand what I am saying? That is why I've decided I have my firm resolve. Wow, really? So after 50 years with True Father, Mother wasn't educated by True Father? That doesn't make any sense. So I think you have to really be aware of all the changes that have occurred in the unification movement since True Father ascended three almost three years ago. As we know, Mother is to be and was the bride of the Messiah. So she should orbit around the Messiah. But now Mother is assumed the position of what I call the New Eve. And you can see clearly that she's taking a different position than she had when True Father was on the earth. Also, please check the speech from uh, uh, Mother, from Hak Jahan, from July 1st, 2014. Here are some excerpts. If, on, if the only begotten Son of God existed in the history of the province of restoration, there also should be the only begotten daughter of God. Wouldn't there have been such a providential history? There was. We learned from the divine principle that when a central figure chosen by heaven fails his responsibility, he is replaced. The only begotten daughter of God was not sent through Israel. The omniscient and omnipotent God cannot fail. He has been nurturing his only begotten daughter. Satan was the king of this world. Thus God has been searching among the good royal families and royal realm within the satanic world. This is something you must understand. I, the true mother, sing before you today, am the only begotten daughter of God, born after 6,000 years. The process of changing lineage occurred while I was in my mother's womb. The moment when true father succeeded Jesus' mission, when Jesus appeared to him, this qualified true father is God's only begotten son. Do you understand? This is something you have to know. The 2000 year history was one of searching for the only begotten daughter of God. Really? I thought the 2000 year history was for searching for the Messiah Christ, true, true, true father, and who would take his bride, mother, who became true mother, but now has lost the position as true mother to become you know, she was to become the bride of Christ and still had to go through a course clearly after Father ascended. Also, I would ask you to use common sense. Does Hak Jahan mother seem like a woman who is united with her husband? Does she speak about her husband? Hardly at all. Does she talk about the great work of her husband? Hardly at all. Does he lift up the word of her husband? She's totally changed the words of her husband. Does she follow the blessing tradition of her husband? Where the, where the um, representative true parents are there to give the blessing? Meaning, you know, in this case, 
Kyangjidim and Yananim. There has to be a male representative. No. So there's so so, so many things we can, we can see there how she is not united with true father. So just common sense will tell us that. That she's not lifting up the word. She's not following. Father said clearly, do not change the word. And then she changed it. But if you understand that mother is the new Eve, then she is qualified, according to herself, to make these changes. Also, please look at who is surrounding Hak Jahan, who is surrounding mother. Well, we had the infamous Mr. Kim Yon. Well, he was is a member of the Amrain Che group, Che or Amrain group. And we've covered that in the two videos ago, you know, what, who was really behind the changes in the Family Federation and also the last video. So with, with um, Hak Chan unaware of what's going on around her, such as that Mr. Manho Kim is involved in the Che group, which has, a, which Father Chloe asked her to stop doing that work in 2000 and did not give the registration blessing to that group and she kept doing it and as I said former members have testified about the strange practices of the group such as asking members to have sex with other people who are not their spouses then these are the people surrounding and is the top head of the international movement or former top head apparently although no announcement has been officially made Wow, that means that mother's not aware of what's actually going on and she's getting bad advice. So that should tell you something about what's going on. So please wake up. And also the fact, for instance, that Champion Lake Retreat Center has been shut down due to the MERS virus. Hello, this is a clear sign from God. So our nation is being judged, the world is being judged, and also in the Family Federation, there's judgment occurring in a similar way. So, we have to really be aware of what's going on. Are you willing or wanting to join this new movement of the new Eve? That is not the movement of the Divine Principle. The Divine Principle is not even one of the book, the scriptures of Chan Il Guk. So, hello, wake up. Please do your research. And if you're comfortable with the movement of the New Eve, then you can join it. But make sure you're aware of what you're doing. Be aware. Be awake. Look at what's going on in the world. The judgment is coming on fast. And it's also coming on in our movement. So let's lift up the words and traditions of True Father. Let's lift up the blessing. And let's be aware. Let's be awake. Let's not be asleep. Hakchan is not the new Eve. She is the victorious or was the victorious bride of Christ, but she left that position to become the new Eve. And if you didn't know that, now you do. So that's the new Family Federation movement. I am Richard Urban. I'm reporting and blogging here from Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you did, please comment and um, tune in for my next blog. And I hope you have a blessed evening and week and that your family is blessed. Until next time, take care.